Okay, guys, uh, so next up is Daredevil. Really, really uh, fun hero to play. One of my favorites. I would almost always pick him. Uh, it's just a set of tools that he has. He is really, really annoying to play against. If uh, the person playing Dazzle is good, you can really, really uh, suffer in that game trying to kill that target, trying to kill Dazzle. Uh, it's just one of those heroes that would really be incredibly annoying with just the boots running around the map really that's how annoying Dazzle is and how great his spells are uh shallow grave allowing anybody that's cast on to live for 5.5 5 more seconds be that your carry gets so much extra more damage uh you know you can also heal them back during that time uh be that off laner tanks so much more damage if anybody needs to escape they had an extra time to escape while you're hitting them in the back. So just imagine hitting something like four staff. You can also push them away. Glimmer cape. You can hide them. Uh, incredibly, yeah. Po a poison touch that's slow, but when you get the shard, this also becomes hex. And uh, this is AOE ability. So not only you slow everybody, you also hex them for two seconds. So you can already see like Dazzle just running around with boots and, and shard. Incredibly, incredibly annoying. Uh, incredibly funny when you play him right uh so first first item that i always think the uh, cast range uh you do need to stay as far as you can from the fight while being able to cast all of these so the cast range is already, already great as you can see shadow wave goes uh, i mean this is with the item so cast range is pretty good already Poison, poison touch is kind of lower, but uh, the other spells are pretty decent. Uh, becomes much better with this. You can see that's a, that's much better. So you just kind of cast the poison touch at the beginning of the fight. Kind of go back, uh, spam your heals, give anybody shallow grave if they need. Wait for the cooldowns, try to, try to stay alive. You do not need to be there attacking, even though there's talents for all of that. You can just kind of stay behind and chill and don't worry about that. Uh, you're playing support after all. Uh, if people do their job properly and you did yours, you should win the game. Uh, you know, if, if the game goes uh, nor normally, if the game goes that way. So, the, the thing with Netherlands, right? Always when you make Netherlands, there, there's this great uh, transition that you can do uh, with the boots. You just kind of get the boots. Uh, you get the energy booster because that's contained in Netherlands. You get yourself arcane boots automatically, increase the mana pool, spam your spells, refresh the mana for you and anybody on that lane. You buy uh, Void Stone when you get some more money. Void Stone is also one of one of the other pieces. And uh, then you just wait for the recipe. Recipe is not even that much, it's like 650. Once you get the recipe, you just disassemble the boots and uh, unlock the energy booster just right click unlock it and uh, they just combine all nicely into other lands so it's probably one of the smoothest uh, transition sever that you can do for any hero that goes other lands you kind of always with the mana and then you know you you keep you keep all the same effects there is mana there is mana generation also but there's also a really nice cast range so I always get that you know it just kind of gives me much in this case much more survivability i can stay behind don't have to worry myself the problem with dazzle is uh you do not want to waste these on yourself there's much much more important targets that they're going to be in the front especially the off lane or any carry that's like uh you know using any jumping ability that kind of goes there so it's important to keep yourself out of the trouble so you can use this on your allies and that pretty much this uh, gives you so I like that extra layer of protection. Now, like I said, Dazzle running around with boots and the other lands and shard is kind of already done. You know, you're already in huge trouble uh, trying to deal with this guy, especially if he knows how to move around the map, especially if the enemy pick is not so good with catching uh, and dealing with support. You know, this is a very high value target. Uh, you need some you know you know if there's no blinks there if, if there's no naturally built jumps like faceless void has somebody that can just kind of jump tazzle and kill him quickly kill him off or silence maybe uh yeah it becomes really annoying and you don't really need even that many items you know everything is there already so of course you will be making something else and uh options of course there's four staff 
really uh you know not so much to say about this if anybody's running away you can uh, heal them you can protect them with shallow grave if there's shard you can uh, slow that target and hex it whoever's chasing them this aoe hexes everybody that's chasing that target uh but if that all is not enough you can just push them away with four staff out of the dangerous way right if anybody jumps on you and you can kind of see them coming uh, from uh, from afar and you know they're about to blink on you you can just preemptively force use force on yourself uh get to the safety uh, great synergy with any of these you know it's just like a really really great extra another extra layer right glimmer cap same way uh kind of cast all of these if this is on cooldown uh, you can just hide somebody you know and even if they dust uh, dust the person or place wards there's still 50 percent magic protection if they nuke him with spells really great chance to survive you can kind of wait out the whole you know damage on them and then uh use these like a like a second wave of protection the enemy is probably gonna get so annoyed this is gonna kind of let him go uh, not, not risk the chase, if, especially if they can see the map, don't know who else is there about to jump him. Uh, Dazzle just makes enemy team waste so much time, so much res resources, so much more crowd, co crowd control spells, stands, uh, stuns, hexes, slows. You know, especially if it's like all of these cast on your carry, they're gonna have to invest so much more to keep that carry in place, uh, keep hitting him, keep, uh, keep him rooted until this expires and uh you know that's that's the only uh, way they can kill him they have to keep investing for the whole duration of five seconds or he just uh, he's just gonna get away you know and uh just a great way to make them pay all of that extra uh at that they just dazzle uh so yeah these two items kind of do all of that you know you can also come with these two let's say this is all on cooldown even, even if you get silenced you get silenced you still hide yourself or just get get some extra ground if anybody's running away and you're silenced or this is on cooldown you can still hide them you can still push them away from the danger you know just uh it's, it's all kind of self-explanatory it's so great to combine all of this they really can't do anything about it right even if you get silenced there's still all of this uh something like mechanism you can you can get this as you can see with other lands uh how far you can cast mechanism you're here mechanism goes all the way here uh just just look at the distance so this is where you can heal uh this is the distance you can still heal mechanism is one great item to get uh something that's interesting is uh, holy locket and i say holy locket uh because in case like dazzle in case like anybody that has an inbuilt heal right uh, same way like Omni Knight has. Uh, a lot of people forget to read the, the secondary effects. So this is a heal in itself. It's instant cast. Costs no mana. That's all great. Secondary effect is, is the one where it gets really, really uh, great. And that is uh, Holy Blessing, as it says here. Uh, amplifies heals you provide by 30%. So like really, really nice buff to this on any class that has an inbuilt heal already. Uh, let's say there's mechanism as well. 30% more heals on this, 30% on this, this. You know, you can see how it kind of snowballs into this huge uh, potential, this huge combo. However you want to combo it, uh, you can just get this. Well, I like it, it's fine. Mechanism is fine. Uh, Aeon Disc, uh, usually would get this no matter what. Just another great way to give yourself a second life, buy yourself time. Uh, it's gonna happen, uh, of course, in, especially in the mid to late game. They're gonna get their items, they're gonna get their blinks, uh, they're gonna build some utility, they're gonna build their orchids or blood thorns, whatever it is. Uh, they're gonna keep catching you now. You can't really hide, uh, uh, hide b b behind Netherlands gas range, so it's gonna it's gonna become tricky. So and this is your extra life, pretty much. You know something like. Something like Abaddon Salt, in a way, you know, something like Red King Salt. It's not all the way there with the effect, but it can give you something like, okay, I got caught, I got strong dispel on me, now I can cast this on myself, uh, gain some ground with four step, hide myself, or just kind of go 
if you feel like you're gonna die anyway it's kind of going to full offensive uh try to hex a bunch of them with this and play damage and slow uh give somebody shallow grave before you die any of these if you can use you know you can do so much cast ult you can just do so much uh before you finally die right uh with that's also another great way uh it's also extra health and mana right as the base stats it's pretty crazy item and uh, i saved one uh for the for the last because this one depends uh, a lot on kind of your uh your teammates mostly uh this, this was recently changed so your ult with the scepter now uh gives actually refreshes all of the items on a cast hero right so let's say there's like a phantom assassin uh, in your team and uh, you made scepter right phantom assassin always has to have black king bar and almost almost not almost if there's money and time she always needs to have satanic so imagine fight starts right you're kind of in the back uh, your carry in this case phantom assassin jumped in the fight uh she used her black king she has to use it she got kind of low she used her satanic she healed back up you kind of just with the increased cast range and this like kind of keep a bit closer you can just kind of cast your ult because this this is just another way right now you get you get a like a new button to press you just cast this uh ult and now because of the scepter she fully refreshes the black king and satanic again so just imagine imagine that on somebody like phantom assassin you know heroes like that uh how much value they can really get of course it, it requires a lot of coordination and you know you being close and you're not dying before all that happens she not dying uh her also realizing that you cast your uh replenish on her items might get lost in the in the battle light right and uh a lot, a lot of things can go wrong but it's just like a great example of how scepter can be really powerful for dazzle you can just kind of immediately refresh uh something like black king bar or satanic or somebody important right it gives them so much more uh, just imagine phantom popping the black king bar for the second time it can be it can be incredibly uh, what can you do really against her right the crits are everywhere you can't really stop her and yeah, there's no way she's blinking around attacking everybody so i kind of kept this for last because it would depend on heroes like that uh that's kind of the way the best use i i can see it uh you know the best value but um i i'm not i'm not sure if like maybe like on a on a on, a, on other on other support hero but I'm not really sure what they would carry that would, it would, it would uh, be that as valuable as that example. Uh, I, I didn't really, I can't really think about it uh, at the moment. But you know, if I thought about it for a while, there, there'll probably be some answers. But this is just like a great example of how this can be used, right? So you can pick and choose uh, whichever of these you want. Uh, again where's the let me just see it's not made any, uh, anymore so there's also go scepter uh if, if you're having that much trouble with any right click hero <coughs> if there's you know if there's troll warlord if there's orsa if there's you know faceless void jumping on you uh it's a great way to kind of for four seconds evade all that damage uh, prepare yourself to cast any of these if you need if you have it already uh, if you want to counter attack them while you're under this uh, if, they're, if they're not under black king effect of course you can kind of hex them slow them down put like a uh, dot on them right this dash per time uh, damage per second actually uh, give yourself shallow grave you know it's like an extended this is like 5.5 5 .5 plus four it's kind of like 10 seconds uh of being unkillable you know, just imagine in, in a game like dota having somebody that's kind of like 10 seconds you can't really kill them uh this kind of sucks if they can nuke you with spells uh but uh yeah if, if it's if that's not the case where you die from spells and you die more from right clickers and uh you, let's say you don't have this just get a ghost scepter uh it can always be upgraded into ethereal blade 
Tyrell can be used on yourself, on any of your allies. You can save other people with another tool for physical uh, physical damage. You can disable enemy heroes, right? Yeah, so another item to keep in mind, but um, that is you. It's just mostly if I kind of can't get away from right clickers for some reason, you know? They kind of keep killing. That's kind of what Ursa does or a Juggernaut. This is like especially great against Juggernaut. You can immediately uh, cancel his whole ult. If he's not careful and he didn't check your inventory, and you can kind of get a bait him, uh, jump, uh, put yourself in in a way of Juggernaut, try to bait his ult. Just kind of go ethereal. He, he, he's gonna keep cutting, of course, but he's gonna deal zero damage. And uh, when this is about to expire, if he's still kind of going strong on you, always shallow grave. Always, always four staff, always glimmer cape. Uh, you'll always have options. So, yeah. I kind of forget forget to mention for the Juggernaut. Uh, this is probably your best counter against Juggernaut for any support when you're playing. Uh, if there's no four step, you just kind of disappear from the you know physical uh, world, and nobody can hit you under this. You get blasted with spells, forty percent more damage. That, that's true, but um, usually the spells are not that bad where you immediately die. I mean, I got sixteen hundred. I'm not going to immediately die most of the time from spells uh, so yeah that's it uh always get shard some people just like getting shard immediately uh when the timer goes low enough for you to get the shard uh but um getting the other lands something like this is the first item is really nice again for the cast range for you to stay back uh be able to heal spam shallow grave uh and not being in the harm's way so you don't have to waste these on yourself and you can you know, give it to your mid, to your offlander, to your carry. Uh, much better use, right? Much better to give them this than yourself. Always be aware on the map where the enemy is. Always try to stay as far as you can while also being close uh, to cast them. You know, so that's it. Uh, the whole item thing. Talent tree now. Uh, there's this damage. There's mana regeneration. You might need this much mana regeneration. You also might do need it. Fights can somehow drag along uh, a lot, like for a, for a longer period of time. You really might r uh, run out of mana anyway, so might be just better to take this. Uh, like again, taking damage, you're not some. You you're not even going for something like Dragon Lance to kind of justify attacking. You you can't really attack that much as much as you need to stay alive and in the back so you can cast these you know you adding some extra 50 damage per hit with a support is not something that wins the game this, this does not really win the game so if you want to if you want it you can take it but i think it's a bad thing because if you take this you kind of you kind of makes it feel obligatory to be in the fight and right click and uh, attack somebody because then you feel like i wasted a talent I wa i'm wasting 50 damage uh, but it, it can be a really bad thing because you get closer and closer and you try to attack and that is the worst thing you get caught up in the auto attack with the support like dazzle and either you have to waste this on yourself you got too close uh, or somebody jumps you from anywhere you know because you're much closer to the fight so i think i think really can be really really damaging uh taking this if you're not extremely careful or just can't see much value uh, same with the second spell uh, attack speed, you know, just another way to kind of bait, bait you closer to the fight, to feel guilty if you're not dishing that damage you took, just makes you an easier target, and uh, you're playing support, there's three cores, if there's three cores, and you, and another support, and you lose the game anyways, the game is not lost because you did not take damage on attack speed, just trust me on that, that's not gonna make the game win or lose really, it, it, it just isn't so just take a nice heal it's also damage uh be more useful in that way it's also like a chain heal it doesn't heal any target it jumps so it's not really just plus 50 it's plus 50 for everybody that it hits right it's not a single target heal so just take that stay behind and uh watch, watch for the team uh third one uh just take a this is pretty much a free mechanism effect once this expires just take this right uh it's it's annoying enough trying to kill somebody for 5.5 seconds that just cannot die 
even more annoying is they just come out of that healed uh you know and you can also heal them with yourself if there's mechanism as well there you can see how quickly you can see how quickly you can uh just completely buff that target to the full health i mean not the full health but like you know half health or, or third of health and they can even they just turn around and keep fighting and uh if there's somebody like a weaker support and somebody that can really nuke him fast enough or deal physical damage fast enough uh even 250 is too much for them to deal with you know maybe their spells are on cooldown they're out of mana uh 250 you can hit him with the shadow weave uh buffed it's 200 almost plus so it's almost 500 health even without this just take the the heal on shallow grave it's really it's really great uh and the last one just take the poison touch slow poison touch is aoe uh you'll get nice shard you'll get aoe on on uh, slow on poison on damage over time and hex on top of that for everybody that it hits and uh this travels far hits a lot of people uh anybody in cone in front of you is gonna get hit it's just a nice way to get some 32 percent is like a big number the game might not last this long enough but if it does it just take the poison slow uh armor reduction is not really something i see valuable at all this would mean you would have to spam 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 spells the fight would need to go on the armor reduction would need to matter you would need to be close enough too many ifs too slow uh just take the poison and uh, yeah that would be it for dazzle uh not really to add uh, much more but yeah do not worry too much about items your main worry is observe the fight stay the hell away from the fight because you do not uh want to waste any of these on yourself or use defensively on yourself even these uh always try to stay back and then if anybody is running away from the fight then you'll have all of this and these to kind of help them out you know if you die you can sacrifice yourself, die instead of them if you can, protect them. Your support, they need to survive, especially if it's a core, right? So it's going to be core. So that's that's pretty much that. So don't try to be a you know a hero with this and be a weird one. Just do your job as support, and uh, your team will be forever grateful uh, for you. Kind of you know giving them extra life, extra time to fight extra time to kill the enemy team they're gonna be really really grateful if you play like a proper uh support that's right and uh, yeah whatever you choose it's fine like i said just get other lands gives you a lot more options and then choose just whatever you want if you want four step if you want glimmer cape if you want mechanism if you want aeon disc whatever you feel suits the best keep uh go set in mind if you die too much from physical damage Get the scepter later on like i said for a phantom assassin example you can refresh for black king and satanic great way to use this and uh yeah yes. pretty much it uh so that's that's uh done for dazzle and uh, i'll see you guys on the next hero